And despite the skyrocketing COVID cases in Florida and across the country, the Carnival Mardi Gras ship is cruising on the high seas tonight after leaving Port Canaveral in the past few hours. This is the first cruise from our port with paying passengers since the pandemic shut down all cruises. New Six's Brian Didlake was there as the ship set sail. Brian, passengers must be thinking about the COVID outbreak. What is Carnival doing to prevent one on board? Well, Eric, as Carnival's Mardi Gras ship embarks on its eight day journey, officials say they will be doing everything in their power to avoid any spread of COVID-19, especially as the first cruise with paying passengers to leave Port Canaveral. We are making Carnival and Port Canaveral history today, and you are all part of it. Carnival's Mardi Gras cruise setting the precedent of the return of the cruising industry. Three, two, one, cut. This is the first cruise ship to leave Port Canaveral with paying guests in more than 16 months. According to Carnival, 95% of all guests are vaccinated and the remaining consists of families with small children who are not yet eligible for the COVID vaccine. They have to show proof of a negative COVID test taken within days of boarding. And while the CDC reports Florida seeing more than 21,000 new cases Friday, guests we spoke to say they're just happy to get away. It's a relief. You just don't know. It's a relief. And I just retired, so I'm excited. For others, the cruise means a peace of mind before the upcoming school year just a few weeks away. We're both teachers, and it's been a crazy year and a half for us. So yeah, getting a, getting a chance to cut loose before the new school year, which who knows what that will be, is wonderful for us. And now Mardi Gras is the fifth Carnival Cruise Line ship to resume service. By October 15th, Carnival says it expects to have more than half of its fleet sailing again. We're live in the newsroom. Brian Dillett getting results. News 6.